Hey everyone, Steve here with Muse Themes. Let me take you through a brand new widget called the Media Queries widget. Now this is a really interesting new widget that allows you to define a media query in a site and show or hide elements based on that query. So if you're not familiar with what a media query is, what this allows you to do is tell your website that between this specific browser size, we wanna show or hide a various element. And as you can see with this site that I have on screen here, if I scale it down or scale the browser window down, that at a certain point I hit a little thing called a breakpoint. And when I hit this breakpoint, the media query detects that my browser is below a certain size and it shows different elements. So as you can see, when I continue to scale down, of course, then we have different elements at this size. So now a lot of you are probably thinking, well, this is just responsive design. And you're absolutely right that a media query is the foundation or kind of the cornerstone behind responsive design. However, this widget isn't designed to give you a full responsive design in Muse. What we designed it for was to give you the ability to show or hide things that may look a little bit awkward on a big display. And if you wanna just reshuffle that around for a smaller resolution screen. You will still need to create separate mobile and tablet versions for your website using the alternate layouts in Muse. So let's go ahead and see how this works. This page was actually built 100% in Muse using our new widget. And as you can see, it's, it's quite interesting how it adapts to the browser size. So let's go ahead and I'll build a very basic example in Muse for you. The first thing we need to do with this widget, let me zoom out for a little bit here, is we need to set up some layers because we're going to be building these various layers or layouts on different layers. So if I go into the layers panel, I'm gonna create three layers. I'm gonna call one widgets where I'm going to place my media query widgets. Then the other two layouts, let's call one big and let's call the other layout small, okay. Perfect. So the next thing we need to do is we need to design this uh, website that we're going to show these, these different bits of content on. So the first thing we'll do is on the big layout here with that selected, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place in an image and I've got an image set up here. It's just this uh, close line. Let's make this kind of a big image that kind of scales across the page, something like that. And let's go ahead and give that a graphic style. So if I go to graphic styles, I'm gonna call this big, and then we can use an underscore and image. Okay, so that's the graphic style for this image. Now let's create a big text headline as well. I'm just gonna drag the text box here, whoops. Okay, let's drag it across the page and let's enter a headline. I will call this media queries. Okay, and I'm just gonna bump up the text size so you can see that a little better. Let's select a different font so that it's not so basic. Okay, and I'll just change the color to white so that we can see this a little bit better. Perfect. So this is gonna make up our big layout. So the next thing that I need to do, same with our image background, is I need to create a graphic style for this text. So let's create a new graphic style and I'm gonna call this big and underscore text. Okay, perfect. Now just make sure that both of these elements are on the big layout on your site so that if you turn off that layer, you can actually see, you can see nothing. So everything should hide when you do that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna design the small version of this. So let's go ahead now and let's, I'm just gonna duplicate these over. I'm gonna hide this layout and I'm gonna click the small layout and I'm gonna paste them again back in. Now let's change the size of everything. So I'm gonna shrink this image so it's much smaller and let's go ahead and align it off to the left here and then I'll go ahead and change this text as well. Obviously we can't see it because it's on a white background so let's change the color and let's change it to gray and let's shrink the text size down significantly. We'll go to something like 40 pixels and let's just align this underneath here. Okay, perfect. So this is gonna make up our small layout. And what we need to do is we need to create new graphic styles for all of these different elements here or these resized elements. So let's go ahead and go into the graphic styles panel and let's create a new one for each of these. And I'm gonna call this one small image, okay? And for the media queries text here, I'm gonna create a new one as well. And let's just call that small text. Okay, perfect. So now we have all these various graphic styles apply to all these different elements on the site. So if I turn off this layers, this small layer here and go back to the big one, let me just make sure that all my graphic styles are set up properly. Yep, we have big image and big text, perfect. 
So this is what we're going to show and hide. We're going to set up a media query to show and hide these two different layers. So the main thing that we need to do now is we need to drag out our media queries widget onto the page. So let's just select that from our library panel and drag it out. Okay, and let me move this widget off to this layers or this widgets layer that I set up originally there. So now with these hidden, I can work with this a little bit easier. So on this widget, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. We have an eye here, a little icon that says graphic style and your style. So when you open up the flyout panel, you can see that we have a unique ID, which is the style we need to enter. And then it says hide when browser is this specific size. And then we can also add another media query that says hide again when browser is this size. So basically we can set up two different levels of hiding and showing elements just with one single widget. So to get started, let's enter in one of our style names. So we'll go big and image, okay. And now remember the big image is this big background image that we're showing right here. So when we're setting up the query here, we probably wanna hide this image when the browser is, let's say when the browser gets below 800 pixels or maybe something a little smaller, 600 pixels. So that's the minimum width. So that's kind of the bottom end of the browser size. So we might wanna even go a little lower. Let's go 500 pixels and let's change the maximum width to 800 pixels. So it's not going to show in that range. Okay, now we need to just duplicate this widget again, and let's do the same thing for our text. So the big text, and same thing. We're not going to show this when the browser is between 500 and 800 pixels wide. Okay, that looks good. So now let's duplicate this again, and let's do the same with our small text. So let's go small underscore text, but this time we need to change the media query a little bit. We're not going to hide it when the browser is this size. We're gonna be showing it at that size. So what we'll do is we'll hide this when the browser is 800 and let's say all the way up to 2000. So now none of these small elements are gonna show when the browser is at full kind of desktop size. And let's go ahead and duplicate that again. And we'll do the same thing for our image. So we have small image, okay, perfect. So now let me zoom out a little. And one thing I recommend to keep this a little bit cleaner is you can actually store these widgets off the side of the canvas here so you can't really see them. Okay, so everything's looking good. I think we're ready to go ahead and preview this in the browser to make sure everything is done right. So let's give it a go. Okay, so we previewed in the browser. Of course, we have our big layout showing. As I scale the browser down, things are shrinking. And then we're gonna hit that certain size media query. And you can see that the alternate layout does try to appear. And this is a really common mistake. I've done it a thousand times when working with this widget. You're wondering why is nothing showing up here? Well, it's because you need to make sure in your layout that you have both layers turned on. So both of these layers need to be active on the canvas or else you're not going to see those elements show up. So I've just gone ahead and turned on the small layer here. So let's go ahead and preview this in the browser again. Okay, we're at our desktop size layout. And as I shrink down, you can see once it hits that certain media query size, the small layout appeared. So that's how we created this demo asset that is almost looks like a fully responsive site here. As you can see, when you scale it up, we have media queries that are showing these various desktop elements. And then as we shrink it down to more like a tablet size, we show a whole different set of elements. And then yet again, when we get to more of a mobile size. So that's the media queries widget. Again, it is not a responsive widget. Uh, we're looking to Adobe to implement responsive behavior in Muse. However, this does give you the ability to show and hide those elements based on browser size, which for a lot of cases and a lot of users is just about close enough. Thanks again, and let us know if you have any questions or concerns. We're happy to help. Cheers.